morning. It is Saturday the, um, hold on, 12th of February. Um, I didn't film last weekend because I had COVID. Um, I wasn't poorly with it at that point, but I was wearing face masks around the kids, so I just didn't think it would be a fun vlog with me with a face mask the whole time. Um, Liam has just got over it as well, bless him. He didn't have any symptoms, though, where I was quite poorly the first couple of days. This one is just chilling with mummy watching Mr. Tumble, aren't we? We're watching Mr. Tumble. Hey? No. Uh, Lil's just gone to her room to play for a little bit. I've just ordered a couple of bits for World Book Day. Um, because we got the email on Friday for that, yesterday for that. So I've just planned an outfit and I've just ordered a couple of bits. I'm doing a proper DIY outfit because the character she wants to be, if I wanted to buy the outfit, it's $120, um, which is extreme when I can sort of make it myself. So that is my plan for that. And I'm just going to have a snuggle with this one while she's accepting snuggles. Um, we haven't really got a lot of plans today. I think I'm going to take the girls out for a walk maybe. And that's about it. But um, come along for the ride. So I have just put a little one down for her nap. I'm going to get my lunch. I'm actually going to have like a prawn salad sandwich. So I have just made some like um, seafood, seafood sauce sort of thing. And added my prawns. Um, yeah, it's been a crazy few weeks and I've had enough because our car is also not working. Um, but it works, but it's got an awful noise on the front of it. So I was meant to take it into the garage on Thursday that I actually tested positive. So I had to cancel that and now it's booked in for Wednesday, which is half term week. So half of half term, we don't have a car. So that's frustrating, but we shall get there. Um, I've just put another wash on. First washes in the tumbler are ready to go when this one's done because it's only a small wash, which is all the white shirts from school. And once Liam's got his second negative test, I'm going to literally spray everything with this. Um, like the bedding, well, I'm going to change the bedding, but still spray the bed down with this. The sofas, the curtains, I'm going to get rid of this germ. Um, because I've had enough. Oh, it's just been so frustrating not being able to like, well obviously me not being able to go out for the week. And we got behind on groceries and everything. That's why our grocery haul was a bit bigger than normal. Um, and then obviously Liam got it. And we've been using his dad's old van to um, go about. Because um, his mum had no use for it. So she gave, she sort of passed it on to us. And obviously he hasn't been able to use it. So I've been having to bust to school, which is frustrating. But we did it and we've made it. Um, I was walking down in the afternoon because it was nice weather and it was good exercise for me and then getting the bus back up because we live at the top of three giant hills from her school. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to get some lunch. I'm going to chill, watch Grey's Anatomy and relax while the kids, well, one's asleep and one's amused. <laughs> Should we open the curtains? Yeah. 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 Ready? <gasps> oh, wrong way. There you go. Can you see? <laughs> so it is a bit bright. Where's your foot? There. There it is. Right there. Yeah. What did you do? I just sat down so we've come out and about for a little bit we've just come up north seat where i used to walk when i was pregnant with a little one and now she's trotting along on her own um it's meant to be a lot more windy than it is luckily we're quite sheltered where we are lil's is way ahead <laughs> but this is the first time she's walked this way on her own we've normally got the carrier which is actually broken at the moment and the buggy's just a pain in the bum it doesn't work very well in places like this. Lil's other side, sweetheart. That side. But yeah, just nice to get some fresh air and let this one explore. She's in her little puddle suit, so it doesn't really matter if we go into any puddles. It's a bit slow, but it keeps my pace down. 
You right? Yeah. But we're gonna go have a little adventure. Won't be out for too long though, because it is a little bit windy, a little bit cold. And yeah, I don't want the girls getting too cold, or me for that matter. Um, then we'll go home, get nice and warm, and start the evening routine. It's now just gone two o'clock, so I aim to be back by about four latest. Oh dear, it's just a bit of mud. It's okay. <laughs> That's it, wipe up mummy's leg. That's it. Off she trots. Bless her. two girls are a little bit cold and um, were very soggy when they got home this one <laughs> they're both in their dressing gowns because this one ends up falling over and covering herself in mud and this one over here was jumping in loads of muddy puddles weren't you and got stuck in one it was very crazy there was like one that was like had, had water over it it was like it had quicksand in it it's because it, they, they never dry out, sweetheart, those puddles, that's why. They're stuck there forever. Kind of thing, yeah. They're so deep that they don't really dry out unless you get a real big heat wave. But Liam is running them a triple bubble bath to get them all warm. They're going to get them nice pyjamas. And have lots of fun. And have lots of fun. Not too much mess, though, please, because we've just tied up dirty mess. I'll never <laughs> throw bubbles at you. No, no, thank you, sweetheart. What's Jack doing? My phone is reflecting on the kitchen door and um, he's noticed it and now he's playing with it. <laughs> and I can't show you because it'll ruin the illusion. <laughs> oh my days. But the girls had fun, that's the main thing. And um, they'll get nice and warm in a minute. I'm going to have a snack and get them bath. So both the girls are in a bath. This is sort of the extent of bubbles that are in there. Uh, Liam does mega bubble baths, so the girls absolutely love it. Um, I'm gonna get these nice and clean, get them in some nice clean pajamas, and we'll go from there. So the girls are now at the bath, and we're chilling in mine and Liam's room. We have got Mr. Tumble on the telly. I cannot stand the bloke, but he's pretty good with that Makaton. Um, and Olivia does no thank you and please in Makaton, which is really helpful because she can't quite say thank you. And I don't like the term tar. Um, I don't mind if people try and get her to say it, but I personally don't like it myself. Um, anyway, the girls are in their nice, cosy, fl comfy, fluffy pyjamas. Lils has got her bear ones on and Olivia's got her unicorn ones on. We have got a tent made in here. Um, I've got washing folded that I need to put away still. And it is almost a girls' dinner. It's coming up five o'clock. It's five to five already. I am going to be doing pasta for them. And I have no idea what me and Liam are having tonight. Not worked that out at all. We do have stuff in, obviously. We've just had a shop. But oh, I don't know what we're having. I can't really be bothered to cook, but I need to. Um, so, yeah, the drama of it all. We're having a roast tomorrow, which I'm excited for. But we're not having that tonight, so I don't know what we're having. Um, yeah, little one is just watching Mr. Tumble there, bless her. Oh, she's so chill. She's absolutely loving it. Just a minute ago, they like both melted my heart, though. I know, like, brought tears to my eyes. I'm a soppy cow. I honestly really am. But um, little one noticed Lil's picked up one of the blankets. And she turned around and stood there for a second. And then realised Lil's wasn't putting it on her. So I said, Lil, she wants a blanket. So Lil's picked it up and actually put it on her. And Olivia turned around and gave Lil's this big cuddle to say thank you. And I was like, my girls. Um, I'm such a sops. So I'm so terrible. Um, I get emotional even in things, so yeah. But I'm going to let the girls play, I'm going to get their dinner on soon, and then start our bedtime evening routine. It is this one's bedtime. I've just tackled loads of washing up, so it's nice and clean, and here's a little bit left over there. Her milk is just ready, and now we're just waiting for Dada, aren't we? You don't need a fresh one, you've just got a fresh one, baby. Oh, look at that face. 
What's that face for? <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. What are you like? Lil's has just tidied up and she's now chilling in the bedroom. And then when this one goes to bed and hopefully goes to sleep, you can go night nights. No, no, yeah. You gonna go to nights for mama? <laughs> I'm gonna watch Grey's Anatomy. Yay! But yeah, it's been an alright day. It's been nice to get out in the fresh air, and the girls had so much fun in the puddles. Like, literally, they absolutely loved it. Um, but um, they definitely need to come home for that bath lesson. But I'm just going to get this one down for her bed and I shall probably see you tomorrow to talk to you. Um, yeah. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>at the moment it's all organized mess we know what it is um we are slowly looking at getting bunk beds for the girls and i just want to start getting sorted out so if there's any toys she doesn't want we're going to get rid of them and just organize things together as well she's got so many racetracks um it's unreal liam brought another one in lockdown which is in front of me at the moment so we're just sort of having a good organise, aren't we, my darling? I'm testing out my secret eye out again. Uh, yeah, but it won't be there for the rest of the day, will it? Because stuff is going back there until we get your bunk bed. All right, well, can you close the door so your sister doesn't escape, darling? Thank you. So, yeah, just having a good old sort out, good old organise, and hopefully get things done. This one is just chilling on my lap. Say hi. Hi. Hey, yeah. Hi. Hey, yeah. Hi. Yeah, 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 yeah. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dad's yeah, just been up yeah. with Angie. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you see? Did you see Granny and Granddad? Uh, Door. Uh, um, they've just been up to drop up a couple of things because Lil's got gold tie last week. So they brought an outfit for her, and they brought me a niffle thing ages ago. So I get to go and make that soon. But I'm gonna get up done with all this. Hopefully, wish me luck, and um, see you the other side. Excuse to take my hair, I still haven't done anything with it. An excuse to tumble drive in on. But little one is now in bed for her nap. I did manage to sort out quite a lot. <laughs> I'll write down there if you didn't hear me. Um, I'm just doing myself some lunch. Those prawns yesterday were not very nice, so um, I have not used them today. I am having potato and leek soup because it's nice and warm. And I'm going to try this boost bar because when I had COVID, my friend sent me a Get Well Soon box. I've still got the packaging actually. Full of chocolate. So I've never actually, actually had a Boost bar before. And then I also got two massive bars of dairy milk to get through as well. Which I'm very, very appreciative of because no one had to do that. Um, so yeah, I'm just getting myself some lunch. And hopefully, because Liam is now COVID free, we can go and see his mum. Um... We haven't seen her in about three weeks now because obviously I got it and then he got it. So it'll be nice to go and catch up with her. I will do test Lil's before we go and just to make sure she's all clear. Um, but other than that, I'm just going to go and watch some Grey's Anatomy. I am on season 15 now, so I'm almost caught up. Um, seasons are flying by. And chill with the cat. And Liam's in the front room playing Dying Light, I think. The new one. Um, I'm getting steamed out by my soup. And hopefully we can just have a good rest of the day and very excited for the next week to come. So, little one has just woken up from her nap. This room is still an absolute tip. Sadly, we're not going to Liam's mum's now because Liam's still got a very, very, very slight line on his test. And obviously you want to keep her safe. He had a negative test yesterday, but there's a line there today. We say hi, Bubba. Hello, you okay? 
So it looks like I'm finishing sorting out this room. Um, and then, yeah, just playing with the girls and spending a nice Sunday with them. A bit of a bummer. Um, obviously, we've got to keep her safe. So, yeah. So, seeing as we are not going out now, I'm going to make myself a coffee, make Liam a cup of tea, and make the girls some hot chocolate. Just to keep us busy, I've just pretty much sorted out the bedroom, um, which is really refreshing. I've got really so much stuff. Um, and obviously, we've got a couple of charity bags now to go. So, that's the. So, I'm in there. Hot chocolates over here. So that's the main process of it, just getting rid of the charity bags and the rubbish. And um so it's nice to have a good old clear out, isn't it really? So I feel a bit more relaxed about Tuesday now when the bunk beds arrive. Lil's does not know, and I'm very excited because she's been waiting for ages. I don't know whether Lil will go straight into it or not, because I'm not quite sure how she'll take it, but we should give it a go. And if she doesn't, we'll keep the cot up for a few days and slowly introduce going into a bed. Um, but I'm very excited because it's the start of like a new chapter. I mean, I would like one more baby, but Liam is really not keen at the moment, and we don't really have the money or the help, like the room in this flat for it. So, um, at the moment, it's just the two girls. But I'm very excited on the new chapter and sorting out their room and making it all lovely and girly for them and getting rid of that big bulky cot and if we do have no one in the future i'll be getting a space saver cot because that cot bed is massive and it just takes up so much space in their room um and we don't live in the biggest of houses as you will probably have seen when i did my flat tour like it's quite a small flat but we work for the space we've got anyway i'm gonna get all these hot chocolates before the girls like okay <laughs> before the girls are like craving it and um i shall see you in a bit one chilled and in bed big one is playing roblox i think on her phone for a little bit liam's making me a cup of coffee bless him and now i can breathe for a little bit i'm gonna put some gray's anatomy on and think i might just sit here in silence just have some chill time and um yeah oven's on for dinner and then liam only wants mashed potato with roast tonight so that's a little bit easier to make some Yorkshire puddings and some carrots with it, it's so nothing too major. Oh, I'm knackered. Um, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee though and then get veg prepped. <laughs> 